You're listening to the European Parliamentary Research Service podcast on the PANA Committee of Inquiry. Following the Panama Papers leaks, the European Parliament decided in June 2016 to establish a Committee of Inquiry to investigate alleged contraventions and maladministration in the application of EU law in relation to money laundering, tax avoidance and tax evasion. The PANA Committee's report, with its main findings, will be presented to plenary and the Committee's recommendations will be submitted to a plenary vote next week in Strasbourg. Don't miss it. When the Panama Papers scandal hit the headlines in April 2016, the world suddenly got to see in great detail how the rich and powerful exploit secretive offshore tax regimes to hide their wealth. The unprecedented leak of over 11 million files from the Panama-based law firm Mossack Fonseca revealed myriad mechanisms designed to avoid paying taxes and hide money from illegal and criminal activities. Hiding money from the authorities is almost as old as money itself. What's different this time is the sheer scale of offshore activity and the number of well-known personalities, including politicians, athletes and business moguls, involved in these dodgy practices. To look at how the EU could better tackle this murky business, the Euro- The European Parliament decided to make use of its investigative powers and set up a committee of inquiry, which has been working for 18 months to come up with a set of recommendations for the EU. So what are the main findings and recommendations? Stay with us. The committee has found numerous cases over the past 20 years of European governments not having the measure of money launderers and tax evaders. And the Commission too has failed to fulfil its role as guardian of the treaties. So it is recommending that Parliament calls on Member States, as well as on the Commission and the Council, to take swift and determined action to improve implementation and effective enforcement, coupled with the reinforcement of the legal tools to fight tax avoidance, tax evasion and money laundering. The committee's recommendations also address the need for more transparency and cooperation between member states, as well as the adoption of an EU list of tax havens. The commission would also be called on to provide stronger protection for whistleblowers and arguments for strengthening European Parliament's rights of inquiry are also set out. The committee's investigation has been a complex one and the opening up of the offshore world is by no means complete. But we surely know a bit more than we knew 18 months ago. Now it's up to the commission and the member states to start acting. You're listening to the European Parliamentary Research Service podcasts.